You speak to each one of us. I also ask you, my father, that you stretch your hand upon this congregation. And my loving father, I ask you to meet the needs of your people. I'm asking you to grant peace. Dear Jesus, Baba, eh, yesu mpenzi. there are some people here who are sick. Kuna watu hapa ni Physically and spiritually. Na hata I want you to heal them, Lord. Ukawaponye, I have seen you do many things, Father. This is not hard from you, God Almighty. Hili si gumu kwako, so I ask you, dear Jesus, because you are here, as you speak to us, don't fail to do a miracle. Thank you because you have heard my prayers. In Jesus' name, we pray and believe. Can you say amen? amen. Let's get seated in the presence of the Lord. I got saved in 1972. And I've walked with the Lord with this very hour. And I'm telling you, hadi wakati huu, hadi leo. I have known that Jesus is real. Nime jua na nime dibitisha ya kwamba Yesu ni kwa ukweli. He is not dead. Yeye hayafa. He rose from the dead. Kutoka and there is a life today. Na yuko hai hata I have also known na vile vile nimejua, what he did yesterday. Kile jana, he can do it today. Anaweza katenda hata I have known nime vile vile, there is nothing that can defeat him. Ya kwamba hakuna kitu kumshinda. The fact that our sister went to be with the Lord does not mean the power of the healing of Jesus has ceased. But one thing we know we are here for a time. So when your time comes if any we pray for you, hata tukikuombe, you have to go. Shatiwele. And therefore, the power of God is the same. Na kwa hivyo, ngubu za mungu mokozi. That's why I say, His presence can do a miracle now. Nandiyo sababu ni nasema ya kwamba uwepo wake unaweza ukatenda miunjiza hata sasa. So I want to read the word of God. Kwa hivyo, nitasoma neno la mungu. And may God open your understanding na Mungu akafungue kuelewa kwako and give you to understand his word na akakuwezeshe kuelewa neno lake not my word si neno langu but the word of god lakini neno la Mungu and I know heaven and earth shall pass. Na ninajua mbingu na nchi zitapita. But the word of God shall live forever. Lakini neno la Mungu litaishi milele. I also understand. Vile vile ninaelewa. God stands behind his word. Mungu usimama nyuma ya neno lake. That he may perform it. Ili akalitimize. I also understand. Vile vile ninaelewa. The word of God will never return to him void. Neno la Mungu alitamrejelea bure. What he has said it to do it will do and accomplish. Kile alichokikusudia my friends I know Rafiki zangu ninajua if you believe ukiamini what God says kile ambacho Mungu amesema you will receive it utapokea because God will stand behind his word perform it 
Kwa maana Mungu atasimama pamoja na neno lake akalitende. Oh God we give you all the glory. Mungu tunakupa utukufu wote. In the book of Philippians chapter 3 verse 20. Katika wa Filipi 3:20. But our citizenship is in heaven and we eagerly wait a savior from there. The Lord Jesus Christ. Kwa maana sisi wenyeji wetu uko mbinguni. Aha. Kutoka huko tena tunamtazamia mwokozi. Bwana Yesu Kristo. I will repeat it again. How our citizenship is in heaven. Kwa maana sisi wenyeji wetu uko mbinguni. God is talking to the church. Mungu anazungumzia kanisa. He is saying Your citizenship is in heaven. Because you were born in Kenya. Kwa maana ulizaliwa katika nchi ya Kenya. You are more right to enjoy what happens in Kenya. Una haki zote kufurahikia yanayotendeka Kenya. In Kenya you are not a stranger, you are not a foreigner. Katika nchi ya Kenya wewe si mgeni wala wewe hujatembea si mtalii. And the Bible here is telling us our citizenship is in heaven. Na Biblia hapa inatueleza kwa wazi ya kwamba wenyeji wetu ni mbinguni. Amen. Amina. And if our citizenship is in heaven, na iwapo wenyeji wetu ni mbinguni, it means spiritually we are strangers and foreigners here. Inamaanisha kwamba kiroho sisi ni watalii yeah. na ni wageni hapa. So we are on a transit. Kwa hivyo tunapita. We are passing. Tunapita. Very soon we shall go to our land. Hivi karibuni yes. tutaenda kwa nchi yetu. Where our citizenship is. Ambapo sisi ni wenyeji. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So my friend who has come for this service of, of the battle of our dear sister. Kwa hivyo rafiki yangu aliingia katika ibada hii ya kumsindikiza Dada yetu mpendwa. I want to tell you something very special today. Napenda na kukuambia jambo specially. Your leo. citizenship is in heaven. Wenyeji wako uko mbinguni. Amen. 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 I'm therefore here you are a stranger. Na kwa hivyo wewe hapa umgeni. You are a foreigner here. Wewe ni mgeni. You can't enjoy everything you like to enjoy here because you don't belong to this world. Hauwezi ukafurahikia kila kitu unachotaka hapa kwa maana wewe ni mgeni. Amen. Amina. Hallelujah. Amen. But there is a come a time is coming when you gonna be in the land where God has ordained you to be. Lakini siku yaja ambapo utakuwa katika nchi ambapo Bwana anataka uwe. Our sisters gone before us. Dada yetu ametutangulia. There's one thing I know about that land where we belong. Kuna jambo moja ninalijua kuhusu hiyo nchi ambayo ni wenyeji wetu. My dear one there are no tears in that land. Rafiki zangu hakuna majonzi katika hiyo nchi. Yeah. None cries in that land. Hakuna mtu analia katika hiyo nchi. Neither do we have sicknesses in that land. Aina hatuna magonjwa katika hiyo nchi. It's a wonderful land. Ni nchi ya ajabu. Where we are we as it is. Sisi ah mahali ambapo sisi ni wenyeji. Honestly there is no pain, there is no death in that land. Hakika kuna uchungu wala kifo katika hiyo nchi. More to that there is no saying goodbye in that land. Zaidi ya hiyo hakuna kuambiana buriani katika hiyo nchi. There are no accidents my friend. Hakuna ajali pale. I have tried to study about that land. Mejaribu kujifunza na kufanya utafiti kuhusu hiyo nchi. There are no cemeteries there. Na hakuna makaburi kule. Ni nchi ya ajabu. It's so great. Ni ya ni kuu sana. There are no sinners in that land. Hakuna wenye dhambi kwa hiyo nchi. It's so wonderful. Ni ajabu. I wish we all be citizens of that land. Ningetamani sana sote tuwe wenyeji 
When I was trying to study about that land, I found it written that God will wipe away all tears. Nikaona, nikapata imeandikwa ya kwamba Mungu atatupanguza majonzi yetu yote. Where did I get this report from? Nilipata habari hii kutoka wapi? Somebody who was there came here. Mtu ambaye alikuwa huko alikuja huko. He he brought all that his report. Akaleta hiyo habari. 2000 years ago he was here. Miaka zaidi ya 2000 iliyopita alikuwa hapa ulimwenguni. His name is called Jesus. Jina lake ni Yesu. When he was here for for, for around that years, alipokuwa hapa takriban miaka 30, day in day out he was feeling homesick. Siku baada ya siku alikuwa na anatamani kuwa nyumbani. He wanted to go back to his father. Alitamani kurudi kwa baba. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So one time when he was with his disciples, so siku moja akiwa pamoja na wanafunzi wake, he told them my dear ones, uh, I want to go to prepare a place. Kwaambia rafiki zangu nataka kwenda nikawaandalie makao. This world is not a good place. Ulimwengu huu si mahali pazuri. He told them here I have noticed you will have tribulation. Akawaambia kwamba hapa nimegundua mtakuwa na dhiki. You can stay here. Hamwezi mkadumu hapa. I'm going to prepare a place. Ninakwenda kuandalia mahali. Oh glory to God. Utukufu kwa Mungu. How much I pray that you be a member one of the citizens of that land. Ni kisi gani ningeomba ya kwamba utakuwa mmoja wa wenyeji wa mjule?
This was not a parable. It was a reality. So we can see Lazarus in, in that land where we are called to be citizens. Uh, you remember of that land? You don't become a citizen by joining a church. No. La. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Not because you join a church. Not because you are given a new name. I know most of you have got your new name. I want to tell you. You are not a citizen. Unless you follow the route and the way which I'm going to direct you. For you to be a citizen, you must encounter the man called Jesus. That he may give you life. The only life that can exist in heaven. The Bible calls it everlasting life. Everlasting life is given by a man called Jesus. It is not given by full gospel churches of Kenya. 
Uzima wa milele hautokani na kanisa la full gospel churches of Let me tell you my friend. Wacha nikwambie rafiki yangu. Today as I stand here. Leo hii ninaposimama hapa. There are many, many people in hell who we are members of full gospel churches. Of Kuna watu wengi saa hii jehonamu ambao walikuwa washirika wa full gospel churches of Kenya. They have never registered in the citizenship of heaven. Hawakuwa wamejiandikisha kuwa wenyeji wa mbinguni. But they were good members of the church. Lakini walikuwa washirika wazuri wa kanisa. You can be a good member of your church. Naweza ukawa mshirika mzuri wa kanisa lako. But unless you have encountered this man called Jesus, lakini usipokutana na huyu Yesu, then there is no hope. Basi hakuna tumaini. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Then in the book of Matthew 25:41 kisha atawaambia na wale walioko mkono wake wa kushoto ondokeni kwangu mlioaniwa mwende katika moto wa milele uliowekewa tayari ibilisi na malaika zake kuna nchi nyingine inayo land as satan and his demons uh, wenyeji wa nchi hiyo ni shetani na mapepo plus na kuongezea any other man or woman who rejects the word of god mtu yeyote mwanamke au mwanamume anayemkataa mungu so jesus is telling them here yesu hapa anawaeleza he's talking to human beings anaongea na wanadamu Anawaambia ondokeni kwangu get out of this country of heaven ondokeni katika nchi hii ya mbinguni you are not you are not citizens of heaven nyinyi si wenyeji wa mbingu but i know there is another country called hell lakini ninajua kuna nchi nyingine inayoitwa jahanamu prepare for the devil and his angels ambayo imeandaliwa shetani na malaika zake so people have rejected jesus pamoja na kila mtu aliyemkataa yesu This country called hell. Hii nchi inayoitwa Jehonam is a terrible is a terrible one. Ni nchi ya kutisha. In the Bible we have a young man who left the love of his father for the prodigal son and they went into another country. Katika Biblia tunaye mtu mmoja ambaye alimwacha babake akaenda nchi nyingine anaitwa mwana mpotevu. And He had a lot of wealth when he went there. Na alikuwa na mali nyingi alipokwenda kule. But he did not get the citizenship of that land. Lakini hakupata uenyeji wa hiyo nchi. So it happened that all his wealth whatever he had got finished. Kwa hivyo ikatendeka ya kwamba mali aliyokuwa nayo ikaisha. And because he was not a citizen he would not be employed. Na kwa sababu yeye si mwenyeji hangepata ajira. But He joined himself to one of the citizens of that land. Lakini akajiunga na mmoja wa mmoja wa wananchi wa wenyeji wa mjuli. He got a job of looking over the swine. Akapata kazi ya ku ya kuchunga nguruwe. He could eat the food of those swine. Na basi angekula chakula cha nguruwe. Nobody could give him food. Hakuna mtu angempa chakula. Because he was a foreigner, he was a stranger. Kwa maana alikuwa mgeni, alikuwa mpita nje. Nobody gave him help. Hakuna mtu angemsaidie. He did know the laws and the regulations of that. Hakujua sheria na kanuni za nchi ile. That's why the Bible tells us in 2 Corinthians 6:14. Ndio sababu Biblia inatuambia katika wa Korinto wa 2:6:14. We did not equally yoke together with unbelievers. For what fellowship has righteousness with unrighteousness and what communion has light with the darkness msifungwe ni ila pamoja na wasioamini kwa jinsi isivyo sawa sawa kwa maana pana urafiki gani kati ya haki na uasi tena pana shirika gani kati ya nuru na giza In other words, the Bible is telling us. Kwa maneno mengine Biblia inatuambia, if you are a citizen of heaven, iwapo wewe ni mwenyeji wa mbinguni. The Bible is telling you not to be yoked together with the citizens of hell. Biblia inakuambia kwamba usifungwe katika nira moja 
na wenyeji wa Jehona you don't know the laws and the regulations of that land au juu sheria na kanuni za ile nchi I was reading John 3:20. Nilikuwa nasoma Yohana 3:20. So it says like this for every for everyone that died he who hated the light neither cometh to the light lest his deeds should be reproved. Maana kila mtu atendaye mabaya uchukie nuru wala haji kwenye nuru matendo yake yasije yakakemewa. And then I was seeing the spirit na nikaona katika roho the ways of the citizens of hell are in the dark njia za wenyeji wa jehonamu ziko katika ngiza actually all their things are done in the dark hakika mambo yao yote utendwa ngizani i know it because before i got saved my parents would call witch doctors ninajua kwa sababu kabla sijaokoka wazazi wangu wangeita waganga nyumbani and no which doctor came during the day na kuna mganga hata mmoja alikuja kwetu mchana they were coming in the night walikuwa wanakuja usiku and if you are here you are citizen of hell and you go they are tell us what time you go <laughs> na kama wewe uko hapa na ni mwenyeji wa, wa kuzimu jeonamu na uko hapa tu, na huo huwa unawaita tuambie huwa wanakuja saa ngapi they go during the night wa wanatembea usiku am i not talking the truth nje <laughs> si neni ukweli do you know those people of citizens of hell they have got something they call black market unajua hao watu wa kuzimu wana kitu wanakiita soko ya ngiza because they do their things in the dark kwa maana wanafanya vitu ngizani Do you know those people can go under the sea to get well? Najua watu wanaweza wakaji wakaingia chini ya bahari kupata utajiri? You have never known. Hujawahi jua? I was praying for a lady. Nilikuwa ninaombea uh, mama fulani. She was coming from Malindi. Alikuwa ametoka Malindi. This what she told me. Na hivi ndivyo aliniambia. She was possessed by a demon. Alikuwa amepagawa pepo. So she told me she was employed by another lady. Wewe kaniambia alikuwa ameajiriwa na mama mwingine. And at times they would go under the sea. Na mara kwa mara wange wangeenda chini ya bahari. I asked her how how could you go under the sea? Nikamuuliza nje mlikuwa mnaenda vipi chini ya bahari? She told me her employer would go with her. Akaniambia mwajiri wake angeenda pamoja na yeye. Carrying three eggs. Akibeba mayai matatu. Then she would Throw the eggs na, in the sea. Na angerusha hayo mayai kwa bahari. After throwing the the egg then they would get in the sea together na, with that employer. Na baadaye wangeingia ndani ya bahari pamoja na huyo mwajiri wake. This is the work of the people who are citizens of hell. Hii ni kazi ya wenyeji wa Jehona. Kuzi. Then I asked her what would you do when you go under the sea? Na nikamuuliza mlikuwa mnafanya nini chini ya bahari? She told me I would be given a bottle with blood by my employer. Akaniambia mwajiri wangu angenipa chupa imejaa damu. She told me reverend even under the sea there are vehicles. Akaniambia kule vile vile kuna magari. Then we would see a Nissan coming uh, come carrying people na akasema tungeona Nissan inakuja imebeba abiria. Then I would be called, I'll be told to hit that one with a bottle. Na ninaambiwa nigonge kwa kwa chupa. Then I would she would hit the uh, the Nissan with a with a bottle with blood. Na ngegonga hiyo gari kwa da, kwa kwa chupa ambayo iko na damu. But then she told me the funny thing was na akaniambia jambo la kushangaza when we come out of the sea tunapotoka kwa bahari I would see the I hit when I was under the sea. Ningeona ile Nissan niligonga nikiwa chini ya bahari. Already having caused an accident. Tayari ikiwa imesababisha ajali. And the people inside some of them die. Na watu waliomo ndani wengine wanakufa. I said this is wonderful. Nikasema hii ni ajabu. People citizens of hell have terrible things. Watu watu wa jehonamu wa kuzimo wana vitu vya kutisha If you are here you are a citizen of hell 
I think you need to tell us more about that citizenship of you. Kama uko hapa na wewe ni mwenyeji wa John Hamu, nafikiri una, unaweza kutuambia zaidi. Utupashe habari. Because there are funny things there. Kwa maana kuna vitu vya ajabu ajabu. Yeshua was told they can even sacrifice you in their demonic altars. Unajua niliambiwa wanaweza wakakutoa kafara katika madhabahu yako ya yao ya kipepo. If you are here and possibly you are one of them today I will pray your prayer Kama uko hapa na labda wewe ni mmoja wao leo nitaomba ombi Hallelujah Hallelujah Glory to God Utukufu kwa Mungu You see I was preaching in another place Nilikuwa ninahubiri mahali pengine And I cast witches and the sorcerers Na nikalaani wachawi na washirikina And then after a month that was brought a report. Na baada ya mwezi nikaletewa nikaletewa taarifa. When lady was among the sorcerers. Ya kwamba mama mmoja ambaye alikuwa ni miongoni wa wachawi. Was being ferried by a boda boda. Alikuwa anabebwa kwa boda boda. They had an accident. Wakapata ajali. And I don't know if now she has slept in Kenyatta hospital. She had, she had a broken back. Na sijui hata saa hii kama ametoka Kenyatta alikuwa alivunjika uti wa mgongo and i don't care because if she had the gospel and refused the bible says even in the old testament the sorcerers were being stoned and they would die yes. na sijali kwa sababu kama alikataa injili hata neno la bwana katika agano la kale linasema ya kwamba wachawi na washirikina walipaswa kupigwa mawe uh -huh. i'm gonna pray your prayer here nitaomba ombi hapa Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And when I pray my father answers. Na ninapoomba baba yangu usijibu. The other time I had a lady in the church. Wakati mwingine nilikuwa na mama kanisani. She was a demon worshiper. Alikuwa muabudu wa shetani. She was using uh, her fingers to remote control me when I was at the altar. Alikuwa anatumia vidole vyake kunidhibiti nikiwa madhabahu. And that what can never happen because of the anointing of God. Na hilo haliwezi likatendeka maana nimetiwa mafuta. Every time she tries her fingers would get full of water. Kwa hivyo kila wakati akijaribu vidole vyake vingejaa jasho, maji. So if you are there you can try now. Kwa hivyo kama wewe ni miongoni mwetu unaweza ukajaribu. Hallelujah. Amen. Citizens of hell are terrible people. Watu wa jehanamu ni watu wa kutisha. They can stagnate you and your family through witchcraft. Wanaweza kukuamisha wewe na jamii yako kwa njia ya uchawi. Have you ever known that? Wewe unajua? You may be struggling in life where somebody who is a citizen of hell has stagnated you and your family. Unaweza ukawa unanganana katika maisha na upate ni mtu ambaye ni mwenyeji wa jehanamu amekukwamisha wewe na jamii yako. Today You are here because God has allowed to be you to be here. Leo uko hapa kwa maana Bwana amekuruhusu kuwa hapa. Those demons of stagnation we shall command them to go back to that person. Are you send them to you? Hayo mapepo ya kukukwamisha tutayaamrisha yarudi kwa aliyekutumia. Do you hear me? Unanisikia?
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But the citizens of hell will ask for money that they may pray for you. Lakini wenyeji, wenyeji wa jehanamu, wa kusimu, wataitisha pesa ili wakuome. Hey, praise the Lord. Wana sifiwe. May you raise up your hands and say amen. Wanachukua kupa moja. 
Machakos. I I have in fact, alikufa akilia hivyo sasa mimi. Ah, kwa aike na uwe kongus. Baba yake alikuja akashika mguu na Yaani huko kuzimu huko hii hii country ni mbaya sana. Huko hakuna huruma. Ndio sio mbukumu lo idao kia tena tai
Tout le monde est là. You don't get them on the two boy, and then go boy. Not Sam and Missy Cricket. But like a higher than about my Noka Tikam Jew. No, no, you can then a cookie like them, the Ramus. Other Kama Kuna, Toto, and the Kanisa, or Tanga Kanda Kanisa, and then I send a Tamu Tanga Kanisa, near me or the Kanisa. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now bow si mama uri unyoche kidogo. Na unjuni kiomba utapokea mujisa. Wengine na na boya. Yeah.